I had the opportunity to run for Malta in 2015 and I took that opportunity and for me, I would never look back. There's Charlotte Wingfield and Malta went down the heat to the Commonwealth Games 100 and 200. I'm Charlotte Wingfield, I'm 28 and I'm a Maltese international sprinter. I represented Malta at the 2016 Olympics where I won my prelim. Um, Malta's never had an athlete win the prelim race before, so I was actually offered to be the flag bearer at the closing ceremony. And I've also represented Malta at two Commonwealth Games, one in 2018 and then 2022. Last summer I actually made the semi-final in the 200 metres. But then I've had many setbacks since then, so like I went to the World Championships in 2015 in Beijing. I was focused, got onto the start line, the gun went, but then obviously I heard a second recall gun. I remember getting given the red card and I just had to get escorted off. Lowest points at that moment in time, but it's actually only made me stronger to who I am today. So for me to come back even this year and break the national record that I broke six years ago, I'm nowhere near done yet and I'm ready to continue fighting till I am ready to retire. So I work nine till five. It's a fully remote role, so I work from home, which actually does have its benefits, but I'm a very sociable person, so I do need that interaction. So a lot of my time I am speaking and talking to players regarding their transition from sport. And mental health is massive in elite sport. We put our body under so much pressure and we have so many highs and so many lows. And I genuinely think in elite sport, you have more lows than you do highs because I don't think a lot of athletes speak up about this. You look, probably look at my social media and probably think I'm the happiest person going, whereas no one really realised that two years ago I was suffering from depression and I've just kind of come out of it. It got to a point where I was actually drawing a smiley face on my knee. So when I went down to the starting blocks, I saw a smiley face and I was like, it just made me smile. And I was like, Joe, you know I'm here because I enjoy it. But so now I literally stand on that sight line, focus, go in, just go and have fun. The reason why I fell in love with this sport was because I was a kid running in the playground, beating the boys, because I loved it. So why am I going to try and take away that love just to try and perform for people every day, whereas I'm actually only going to be doing this sport for myself. I've spoken to my coach and I know what I believe I'm capable of. I'm not that athlete that thinks, oh, I've been to the Olympics, I'm not going to compete for you. I love that camaraderie of oh, everyone coming together, sharing their successes. Like I compete for Garlic at least three times a year. All my best mates compete for them. And it's just about sharing that experience. I've just run a national record at the age of 28. So if you want to start competing at a high level, even between the age of 22 onwards, there is still time. And if you want to thrive in something, dedicate a bit of time to it, and then that's when the results will come.